hi everyone so today we will be starting with our next slider the jquery slider uh, earlier in two videos of my uh, jquery tutorial i have you have learned uh, these two types of slider one is of fade in fade out and the other one is of list slider today i am like uh, uh, today i am like mentioning a new slider in front of you that is of uh, image slider the part two fine for that uh, i have just applied two images on my screen four images on my screen the first image second image third image and the fourth image so first of all just have a um, putting some style sheets on these images so my main class that is a div tag which have a class main and in that main class i am applying all the images to the width as 700 pixel and the height as 300 pixel so if i'm gonna refresh this this has been happen here and now like what i'm going to do is uh, i'm also giving a main class as width 700 pixel and height as 300 pixel fine so in the main div i am just attaching one another div that is of that i am putting its class as inner and uh, so here it goes and uh, putting some it's some of its in indentation so i have a main division that have a class main then i have a division that have a class inner and in inner division there are four images that i have placed in it so if i'm going to check its output it's been displayed like there so what i am going to do here is that i am also defining some properties to my inner class and let it be its width as 10000 pixel so if i am defining its width as 10000 pixel see the scrolling has came the images goes in like horizontal manner because as I have a width of 10,000 pixel of inner so all images right now is having a single image is having a 700 pixel width so if I multiply 700 by 4 because as I have uh, with me uh, 4 images so it becomes 2800 pixel width that image is been allocating but right now I am having 10,000 pixels so it's the extra like width that has been left with the images so what I am going to do here is in the main division I will be just implementing one property that is overflow hidden means after 700 pixel all the data will be hidden so in front of me only the first image image one is being displayed right now in front of me and putting some more CSS properties like in it margin 100 pixels so that it can just come like margin 100 pixel from here 100 pixel from here 100 pixel from here and putting some its uh, background color as ccc and uh, padding to 10 pixel so here it goes and uh, let it be let direct the padding so like here it is we can just add border over here solid one pixel and it's the border so like this way uh, the CSS has been implemented so let's start now the jQuery part so first of all dollar then the function then I am defining here is set interval function that will call show function after every five second and here I am defining one variable as where i equals to one so function show I am defining here so what I am going to do here is uh, I am giving as i equals to i minus 705 why I have given 705 that I will be explaining you a bit later so inner inner is the main division dot animate what I am going to do here is margin left is a property so margin left as i and in how much time it will be animating it two seconds it will be animating so let's see the output so 
so after five seconds the image has been moving from your right to the left part fine so after this is the third image that has been moved there now the currently it's the fourth image that has been displayed in front of screen so after that there are no such images so nothing will be displayed on your screen so in order to resolve this issue what i am going to do here is like we have four images in front of me total four images i have installed so if i calculate 705 into if i calculate 705 into 4 then it becomes 2820 but if i am going to say here is like whenever i am like moving whenever the set interval function is called in the on the first time uh, it, what it will be doing is it will be deducting 0 minus 705 means the first value of i will be minus 705 so right now uh, the fr the first image has been displayed after the first after the first image like inner dot animate will switch inner this division will be switching to margin left as minus 705 pixel so in the first function in the first part of the function the slider will move from 0 pixel to minus 705 pixel by left margin right and in the second part what it will be doing here is minus 705 will be minus with minus 705 so when minus 705 will be minus with minus uh, 705 it will be it will become minus 1410 so already the slider has been moved by sem minus 705 pixel so in the second part it will be moved as minus 1410 pixel so in this way when the second part will be uh, executed the third image will be displayed in front of you and after that the slider will again move then after the th third part is executed your fourth image that is the last image of the slider will be displayed in front of you so after that there is nothing so if i calculate the things is what i need here is that after if i becomes minus 2200 then this portion will be executed means if i is less than minus 2200 it means we have we are at fourth image so when we are at fourth image i will be placing here as i is equals to zero and margin left will again move to zero part so let's have a look how it's been working so i am just like uh, decreasing some time so that it can move faster so the first image is being moved uh, when the first time it's moved the second image is displayed when the second time it is moved third in image is displayed and so on the fourth image now it is moving again back to the zeroth part fine why i have given here is five pixel as the width of the image is only 700 pixel basically the concept behind five pixel is that every image like this is the first image this is the second image this is the margin that is the gap between two the two images being exist so in order to remove that gap what i am doing here is i am adding five pixel extra in the width of the image so this is the output of this uh, of this slider thanks for watching there are more videos to come on the topic of jquery as well as other topics thanks for watching